What's going on guys? Welcome back to the archives. Today, I got another Ford project. It's been sitting back here a very long time, since the early 90s, maybe late 90s, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna give you the tour of this thing. We're gonna walk around it. And we're gonna get it drug out today. So hit that subscribe button. Let me know if you own one of these or if you're restoring one. And uh, let's see what we're gonna get into. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of the Archives. I don't know how this keeps happening, but somehow I keep getting these old Fords given to me, either to fix or to kind of get back on the road. And this one here is literally a barn find or a field find, you should say. It's been sitting since the 90s. I know that, and I don't know. The guy said that he didn't know what was wrong with it. He didn't think anything was wrong with it. They just didn't use the truck enough, so he parked it back here, and over the years, they just kind of forgot about it, I guess. So let's take a quick look at it. So there she sits. As you can see, tucked in the corner there, hidden away, tucked behind this barn, unseen for years and years. Obviously, it's had a rough life out here. It's, it's pretty rotted, it's rusty, but the cab corners and, and the sides and stuff, they're not that bad. Some of the trees have fallen on the truck. You can see there on the hood. Um, the bed's probably rotted. All the leaves and moisture just kind of sticks in these things. Not much you can do about it when they sit out like this. But this here, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not up to date on these Fords, just doing a little research myself and having a couple Fords, you know, just a little bit of knowledge. So correct me in the comments, but I believe this is a 78 or 79 because earlier models from 73 to 77 they had a little piece of a grill here and they said ford inside here and then for a couple years they put ford up here on top of that i know this one here is a ranger um, it could be a 78 or 79 the 78 the rangers came with square headlights that was that was the upscale model some of them still had the circular headlights like you see um, in the 73 to 77s and the 79 models that all came out all had rectangular headlights, kind of like you see. I know that much. Uh, Drivetrain wise, I couldn't get the hood open. The hood is needs some lubricating to pop that thing open, but I think it may have a 351. I don't know. It is an automatic. It does have AC. It does have all the bells and whistles. So for some reason, it sat back here. And it's sat here for a very, very, very long time, 30 plus years. What I'm thinking is, I don't know if I'll get this one on the road and, and drive worthy and things like that, but it may end up being a parts truck for my old Ford. I know some of this windshield will fit. The trim, of course, is a little different on mine. I think you can still use my trim that I have for the seal. Um, I wanted it originally because of the tailgate, but the tailgate is gone and uh, there might be a few extra spare parts that I can sell or, or just get rid of, or maybe somebody else needs them. I can give them to them for free. I, I don't know. It does have some good mirrors, some, some good hardware, things like that. The windshield wipers, the bumper, the whole front grill's in pristine condition. This is literally a barn find. It's true as they come. <laughs> it is about 15 degrees out here. It is freezing today. So if you see me shivering, you know why <laughs> but i opened the door earlier and it's kind of like a time capsule they they left the key in the ignition um some of the stuff in here the jackets the the golden cup the arch cup from mcdonald's what do you think they were drinking let's see if we can find some registration maybe something in here tell us let's see if we can get that open but baby froze oh here we go Beautiful. Uh, as you know, these, these cars sit outside and of course there's gonna be some, some mice, maybe even something else living in here, uh, maybe some snake skin. <laughs> so there's that. Yum, so insulation. Oh, beautiful. We got a book. So looks like I may have been right. It says 
1979 Ford pickup F100. So, let's see if there's anything else in here. How beautiful is that? Pristine 1979 Ford truck F100 through F350. So, that says it. I believe it is, in fact, 1979. Let's see what else we got. Passenger car, truck, a tube, light trucks, tires. Oh, we st I wonder if it still has a warranty. It has a warranty fax. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. What is that? Oh, it looks like the sticker. Oh, man. Is there anything in here? Keep in pocket of truck. So, with the ID here, as you can see, 1993 ID card, 79 Ford truck. It's handwritten by the guy that owned it. He may have had some, some glasses. Let's see. What is that? That's a tail lamp light or license plate light. Man, got some more glasses. That's awesome. So, there you have it. I think the last time this was on the road was 1993. Holy crap. I definitely want to try to keep all of that. There's the 92 Ford insurance card. It's awesome. Let's see. What kind of jacket is this? Looks like a Salukis jacket. If you don't know the Salukis, that's a college over there in Carbondale. Salukis. Just to match the interior. The maroon interior, maroon truck. That's one of my favorite things of these old trucks. They always did this color scheme that was very, very, all the same color, all vibrant, all maroons, reds, things like that. Got this. Look at that beautiful, beautiful maroon or red color. The bench seat. It's actually not in bad shape. A lot of times these are probably sat in a lot. So if the bench seat is not ripped over there, maybe this one has low mileage. Comment below how many miles that you think this has, and I'll walk around over there and we'll take a look at the cluster. Get that close. All right, so how I was telling you, this thing's been sitting since the 90s. It actually has its last sticker on this license plate in 1998. If you look there, see if I can get you in on that. Uh, June of 98, Illinois. Look how rusty that tailgate is. He's completely shot. So, since 1998, this thing has been sitting back here, unknown to the world. But today, we're going to get it back into daylight, drag it out, might even walk it over again and see what it kind of looks like, the wheels look like, things like that. And you see, it's completely rotted out. In the 78 to 79, if I'm not mistaken as well, other than the grill thing, I think they moved the gas tank around. Not much difference between those from 73 other other than like I said the grill, but from the grill, the gas tank being moved a little bit, there's not too much difference between that year. Of course, the series that I have, the 68, was well, 67 through 72, they decided to to revamp that into this series here. So, Ford F100 was still a thing. This is the F100 Ranger. So, imagine 1998 take a ride to mcdonald's you get your cup and you're you're taking your last ride in this baby before you park it in a field you know got a tank of gas close the door and then decide to pull it back here so that was the end of the life for this thing or so it thought so leave a comment below do you think i should help this thing a little more should i just take parts of it and scrap it or what do you think I i'd like to know your guys' opinion that's why i kind of do this <coughs> truck was free you know so what should i do you let me know there's the mileage there it looks like it has 39,586 miles i don't know if you can see that 
So 39,586 miles. That cluster looks really great for sitting back here since the 90s. I don't know how the heck that happened. It, that's a really sealed one. Still, still has all the AC, the vents. Cool, warm. You got your radio. Got your cassette. No cassettes in there. So we're not going to jam out while pulling this thing out. There's no, no cassettes. <laughs> but there she sits. Anything? Oh, there's nothing up there. Maybe some stickers or something. Does have the piece of uh, headliner, which is good. A lot of times those are missing. All right, guys. So since I've told you the story of the truck and uh, I've showed you the entire tour of how it's been back there, sitting back there, all the knowledge that I know about it, the owner really didn't know much about it either. So that's it. That's all the, the, the story. So we got to get it out of there. And as you can see, surrounding the truck is a million saplings. <laughs> We're going to need some bigger assistance, so let's go get a backhoe. We're going to level all this out a little bit and try to pull it straight out because I don't want to cornerize it and hit that big oak. That would not be a good day. So now I got somewhat of a pathway cleared out. We're gonna try to hook it up to the bucket over there. And basically, I'm just kind of <laughs> zigzag her out of there because uh, she's pretty sunken. I think I may have to lift her up a little bit and pull her out. So let's see what we can get into with that. So it looks like I have forgotten my chain. So we're gonna use this old nylon rope. It's pretty thick. Let's see if it'll snap. <laughs> I always forget things I need. That happens. So I finally got her loose out of her spot. Hopefully these wheels are straight up. It's just this tree here is the only thing holding it in. You can see a golden setup here. We finally got it out of that stupid spot. This stuff wears me out. But, classic ranger, buddy.
So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We got the backhoe. Pulled out this beast. Holy cow. Now you can fully walk around her and appreciate the good old Ford. I think we can put a little air on those tires. They may work. May have a little flat spot when you're riding them, but that'll be fine. So you completely ride it back here. Oh yeah. Old Ford ride. Old dent side. Wow. You haven't seen this sun in about 23, 24, 25 years. Bam. You know, people pay high dollar for a truck like this with that patina. You can't just build that. That takes years to make. She's a beaut. The beautiful wheels. Oh, yeah. You know, these tail lights aren't cracked. I'm shocked. Still has the original trim. Looks like some old farm or windows or something. Tail light looks good. Oh, yeah. Well, three solid old girl. Let's, let's take a look at underneath. Oh, yeah. Well, not too bad. She's a little rusty under there. Surface rust. This might be the cruising mobile. Could this, could this be the next daily? I don't know. Let's, let's try the hood. I doubt I can get it. But you never know. Is it connecting? Uh oh. I think we may have got it. Let me set you down here. Might be as far as we can get her. She's a little bent. Heck, man. That looks better than some motors I see today. Look at that pristine, baby. Still has everything. Yeah, it looks like a 351. I bet we put a little gas in it and put some starting fluid down that carburetor. I bet you'd start right up. Get a fresh battery. Let's take a closer look. She looks good. Somebody's been sitting in the field. Look how clean that is. No real oil. Let's see. You got power steering. It's got AC. This thing's nice. I wonder if the horn and stuff still works. Uh, oh yeah. It has some oil in her. It's full. Stick it back down in there. Wow. That thing is pristine. Alright, I'm not gonna lie, I, I expected this thing to be gobbed up with under seat or insulation and stuff up top you know normally mice do that they chew through the wires and that's normally gone we can see they all the wires are still in good shape not chewed up that's insane this thing is literally a time capsule and, and not much is done you know like i said the the bed of course is rotted but it doesn't look half bad over you can give her a good knock test that's awesome and see the sides here are good. Yeah, that's that's a little more solid than I thought the truck would be. We might have to put wheels and tires on this to see if we can get it going. Still has the stickers. Look at that bad boy, damn. That is awesome. Well, let's get it drugged to my field and we'll go from there. Instead of an old dent side, this thing is dent side, dent hood. Heck yeah, that just adds to the beauty. I do know one thing though, to drag this thing back, I'm gonna need some help. Somebody needs to steer the expedition. Let's call for the backup. Oh, no, hey, the <laughs> don't scratch my paint up. Okay. Oh, okay. What are you doing with this truck? We're gonna make it a daily. What's that? Really? We're it's gonna drive it every day. Rest, That's perfect. That's patina. You can't pay for that. 
All right. So you're just gonna steer. It won't even steer. Oh, it'll it'll free up when I get it going. All right. Your goal, make no. Nope, it's in neutral already. See this? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> no, this is this is poor man's gold. Tailgate up. Well, we don't need a tailgate where we're going. <laughs> you're gonna kind of have this going. You can set it up. Oh, are you gonna it? In the middle there. Right here. So much battery got. You're gonna be a star, honey. Yeah, all you're gonna hear is. about does it for this episode we got it back into the property let me know in the comments what, what do you think i should do with the truck should i maybe try to get it running and driving if so we definitely need a battery and we'll see if the motor will turn over pour some gas down the carburetor we'll see what this thing can do should i part it out and just let it be should i try and clean it up a little bit and just make it a beater and see kind of where she goes i don't know that's where you guys come in. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, obviously, this is a neat little old truck. For some reason, there's a niche out there for these trucks. People seem to like the 78, 79s, these little square front ends. So, anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Hit that subscribe button in the meantime, and we'll catch you on the next one. When I'm gone, I know you'll miss me. Sing our song.